Good evening, everybody. My name is EK. Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So, today I'm guessing the video title will be something Stratholm because the idea is that today I am going to be picking up the quests for, well, for Stratholm and then we're gonna do Stratholm itself, which means that I only have a Stratholm left to go. And after that, there should be Demon for Canyon. Now, Demon for Canyon is, of course, a new one. And I really know nothing about it. So that should be really, really cool. But first of all, of course, we do have Stratholm to go through. And you may be wondering why I am at Stromgard Keep in Arafi Highlands. Now, some of you might know why I'm here. But we have a quest over here. And it is uh, the Human Wrath Frost Whisper. And it is travel to the Arafi Highlands, to the ruins of Stromgard. Search Stromgard for a keepsake of remembrance. If you find such an item, return it, r return with it to Magistrate Marduk. So, we are here. Oh, I should really not summon that guy. I should really summon my Felguard instead. Actually, I don't have my Felguard equipped right now. Hold on. Um, you know, when I'm playing instant content, I have been swapping now to Unstable Affliction because it just deals more damage. And I think Imp plus Unstable Affliction feels better than than Felgard. So Felgard is great for solo play, but I've kind of been swapping away from him in um in group play. Now important to note is that this quest is an elite quest. So it might be a little bit tricky, but with season of discovery power creep and the fact that I feel like we are fairly strong, I do feel quite good about your ability to go through. We are level 60, we are decently well geared at this point I reckon. I had a Scholarman's run earlier today where in one boss fight um, it was the boss fight with like the the guy that comes flying in through the window, the uh, the bad guy, the the like the Dracula guy. I had seventy two percent of my party's DPS there, which felt really good. So I have never been in Stromgard, by the way. I hadn't even uncovered this part. I wanted to you know start the video in in front of Stromgard and I unfogged the area, but I had never been past you know the opening gate. So this is all new for me as well, and it's quite a cool place. Uh, so we got these uh, syndicate. Conjurers. Oh, there's mobs over here as well. Syndicate Prowlers. I mean, we should take them out quite easily, right? I also should re-equip my Haunt, I reckon. I mean, they might be elite, but they're, you know, much lower level than we are. I reckon once we have Haunt equipped, yeah, this, this should not be that difficult. Okay, that's good to know. See, I'm gonna go explore this place and see if I can find whatever thing we're looking for. Yeah, we are completely slaughtering our way through. It is very easy. No problem whatsoever. I'm going to guess that for the quest we have to just climb all the way up, but I'm not sure. So I'll just keep on climbing and see if I find something at the top. Alright, so we are now at the top. At least the top that I've been able to find. There might be more ways up somewhere, but I don't think there's anything here. So we are looking for a keepsake of remembrance. And it's supposed to be somewhere in this place, but I don't know exactly where. Also, why is my Void Walker, oh, sorry, not Void Walker, my Felguard downstairs? Where is he? Did he get stuck or something? Mr. Felguard? Mr. Felguard, where, where are you? Did he, like, run down here or something? Oh, he's here. What are you doing here, sir? This is quite ominous, you know, I walk around the corner and all of a sudden, like, this demonic dude stands there and seems to no longer listen to my commands. What's happening? Did someone take control of Orig Zinul? The name keeps changing and I quite dislike that. I wish I could just give it like a name at the very start and it, it wouldn't change. Is it coming? Is he coming up the stairs now? Does he not know how stairs work? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's here. Hello. No, don't run back. Come, come here. Don't run back. No, come here. Sir. Okay. I think he's bugged or something. I'll just resummon him. <laughs> There is someone called Lord Falconcrest here, who I reckon is probably for a quest or something. And if I were a keepsake, then I would also be in this room. A solid chest? Is it in here? Is it in the chest? Let's see. Nope, a lot of stuff, including a citrine and a scroll up dog. The side of the scroll with a comprehension charm. Who knows what magic it contains? Like a, a mage? Is it like how mages unlock skills or something? But it seems there is no keepsake here so far. It is a pretty cool looking place, by the way. I, I quite like 
how they structure this, you know, like this destroyed town. Um, just overall, quite an enjoyable place. Um, mobs seem to be quite easy as well. Like this, is this like a weird chimney or something? This book. Oh, I thought it was like a lore book or something. Okay, cool. There we go. I guess we got it. I thought we were going to get like a lore book about the downfall of this place or something. But uh, no, no, that wasn't it. Okay, great. Oh, dude, the mobs. I had like five mobs for me before, but I'm just like life draining through all of them. Like it just felt so good. I was pumping. Also, I'm getting levels in unarmed. Wait, hold on. Why am I getting levels in unarmed? My weapons are equipped. But I'm getting skill in unarmed. Why? I'm a little bit worried that I may not have something equipped or something, but it seems everything is equipped. And I can see it on my character as well, so I don't know what's causing that. Can I just run out with no problems? I think I can. Alright, we should be good. So, that was the human Ras Frost Whisper done. And we have to go back to Magistrate Marduk, who... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think that is the guy, like the ghostly guy. But I think I put... Yeah, I think that's the ghostly guy. But I put the thing in my bank. So, I will have to fly over to Stormwind, which isn't too far away, to be fair. Pick up the thing from the bank and then return. Okay, that should not be a big problem, but that's a little bit unfortunate. But, you know, it doesn't really matter that much because we are now super fast because of this epic, really cool looking mount. Look at the horns and stuff, guys. Look at how spiky it's become. Walking feels much slower now, though, because I'm used to even more speed on the mount now. So walking now feels extra slow. Oh, by the way, I looted the Empress Seal of the Owl from the Blackrock Depths boss, which does give me six arcane resistance and six frost resistance, which we don't really care about too much. But it also gives me plus 10 intellect and plus 11 spirit, which is a little bit more than my uh, selenium loop of the owl. So I'll just replace that one. But I wanted to make sure I, you know, I covered it on the channel because every upgrade needs to be covered, of course. So here we go. It's this one. Boop, a different ring. And now we are just a little bit more powerful. Also, something that I should really look into very soon, and I might do that tonight or, or like very soon at least, is the the ring runes i i feel like i also i think there's also something for the boots so we still lack some rune slots and i should probably now that i'm you know trying to become actually properly powerful i should probably also look into those kind of things because that's just very important because there might just be a lot of free power on the table i think one of the runes is like just like a shadow damage modification that we can literally just like slap on and we tried going there it was in the badlands like it was um well, i don't have to show you guys but like in the badlands it was this area with like these level 60 elites and they kept just absolutely destroying me. But we are much higher, le higher level now uh, and much stronger. So maybe we can actually take them out and we can make our way through there. And we can actually get the ring. Because if it's like a, I think it's like 6 or 8% damage, that's pretty big. Here we go. We grab the Spectral Essence. And I guess I'll also clean the inventory a bit because it's becoming a bit of a mess. We looted so much random stuff in, um, um, in that place we were just at. And... I haven't seen my inventory fill up this quickly in quite a while. I guess elite mobs just drop a lot of stuff overall. And because we were kind of speed clearing them, I guess we actually got quite a lot of stuff. So there's something in my inventory here which we must have just dropped from some of these mobs. Conjurous Pendant. And it says, combine 10 Conjurous Pendants and a Soul of the Void near a Void Prism. I will destroy these right now because I know where I get them because I can just go farm those mobs, I guess. But is this something that you guys recommend doing? Is this something useful for me? Because I don't know what it is, but I'll just destroy it for now. All right, nice and clean. Now back to the Western Plaguelands. Oh, I also wanted to look into this quest around the corner over here on this girl, because um, I remember encountering this quest, not knowing what it was, uh, learning it was the um, quest for the upgrade from tier 0 to tier 0 0.5. Now, I don't really want to go do these quests massively, I guess, until I get the set. But if I can get stuff done while I'm doing anything, uh, other things anyway, you know, I might as well just grab it. So let's see what it actually is. Trying to draw too much attention. I am waiting for the king to grant me an audience. Not that I mind... <sighs> this again. Hey Wait, what? I can... No. Hold on. No! Come back! <laughs> come back! <laughs> I think someone just handed a quest or something. Hold on. We, uh... We do this. 
Dude, why are the effects so loud? Did I did I change the effects as well? Here we go. Effects. Very low. There we go. That's fixed. Can I talk to you again now? Thank you. No, I don't want this vendor. No. Don't be a vendor. Be a quest NPC. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll be back in a second. Alright, now that I mind waiting, I feel pretty safe around all these burly guards. They are burly indeed, guys. They're quite burly. An earnest proposition. See you around. Well, Metal Warlock, I have something that might interest you. I have in my possession a set of armor much like the one worn by those of your profession, but of much higher quality. I would be willing to trade the braces for ordinary ones in exchange for a small favor. The blood of the Frost Sabers and bats that inhabit Winterspring has has properties oh, yeah the, the blood has properties okay makes sense now i'm in need of at the moment bring me a sizable sample of it along with the braces and a small amount of gold you shall find the effort worth your while so we acquire 15 winter spring blood samples and 20 gold which is totally fine because i have like 500 right now bring it back to her and then we can choose to either so a comment has kind of explained to me how these sets work there is always a set at least for my profession or my class there's always something for tank and there's something for dps obviously we will be choosing the dps version so now we can get a bit of a comparison as to how they function because i can get the death mist braces and they're the upgrade from the dread mist braces the stamina will go down by one actually and but the intellect will go up by three and we'll also get four more spell power i'm assuming the set bonus also is a bit stronger no, it's not. The set bonus actually is almost the same as well, but the order has been changed a little bit. So I don't know how much better these sets are. I don't know if they are kind of worth it. I also don't know if they look different. But I guess they're just very slight bonuses. We give it one stamina and we get a bit more damage through the intellect and the spell power. But I guess if you add up all the spell power from all the different pieces, and it's like four spell power per piece or something... You know, with eight pieces, that is like 32 spell power, and that is quite a lot. So I guess that's how I have to look at it. So I will pick up the quest. Um, is it in? Okay, it's an Iron Forge thing. Um, and I have to drop Miss Braces, but I will have to go get the Winter Spring Blood Samples, which we'll do later. But the thing is, I think I don't want to do this yet. I think I want to do this when we can get more pieces, because it has a different set bonus. So if I start swapping things now... I will lose this set bonus, and I think I will also lose these braces. Now, these braces you can just buy off the auction house, I'm pretty sure. And I've seen them drop like 10 times already. I've, I've like vended a lot of them, or like tried to sell a lot of them. But yeah, because it's a different set bonus, I guess I won't be able to just slowly change into them. I will have to, you know, equip the entire set in one go, kind of, and like hold on to the set as I'm upgrading it, and then swap it all in one go. Anyway, let's go back to the Western Plague Lens right now. Okay, back in Cardero, and we pop the Spectral Essence into our slot. The ghosts are respawned, and the quest NPC should now be up around the corner over here. And there he is. So, Magister Marduk. Some were spared the anguish that memories provide. The humans, Ras Frost Whisper. Sorry, not the humans, the human. A keepsake of remembrance is a rare find, DK. Can I actually read it? All the pages are torn out. Okay, I guess there, there aren't any pages to read. I had doubted the possibility of such an item existing. This certainly opens up an incredible opportunity, one we must not squander. Prepare yourself, adventurer, for what I am about to ask of you will take you into the depths of hell. The depths of hell? Now you have me curious right now. Upon tainted soil, the keepsake must be attuned. It is rumored that Stratholm is where Frost Whisper succumbed to the Lich King. Upon those bloodied grounds, he gave his life freely and with motive to become one of the undying it is those grounds that must be found there is one an undead dissenter of the scourge freed by the banshee queen but loyal to the cause of the argent dawn find him leonid bartholomew the revered he may know more seek out light's hope adventurer all right so travel to light hope in eastern plaguelands and seek out leonid bartholomew the revered show him the keepsake of remembrance and tell him all that you have discovered here we go we accept the quest we make sure to re-equip the correct item here we go we have the deep actually we don't have the dps items here we go now we have the dps items i, I mean i won't really need the mount speed too much because we're, we're going to be flying there so i'll run back over here fly to a uh, light hope chapel and then we can continue the quest
I've also got this really, really nice smelling scented candle over here. It is uh, vanilla and sea salt, as you guys might be able to read on the label. And it's just, it's such a relaxing sound. It's by, uh, by Woodwick. It's even got like a little crackle sound effect. And, you know, it's, it's nice and cozy. The only downside is that, you know, I can't really see the candle too much because I have my big studio lights on right now to make sure that I'm well lit. But, you know, when I'm, when I'm not recording, I have my, um, my candle here to, to keep me nice and cozy. So, we go in here, I guess. Ooh, have we ever been in here? Lord Maxwell Tyrosus, Tyrosus and Leonid Bartholomew the Revered. Wait, is he an undead? He looks really cool. What would you ask of death? Is this the first undead that we have spoken to in this character? I can't remember hearing undead voice acting. So it might be. So, here we go. The dying Res Frostbite Whisper. So it's no longer the human, now it's the dying. Farewell. Do not ask questions of which you do not want answers. Your quandary stirs up memories that I had hoped would never resurface. Oh, guys, I'm loving the, like, deep on that voice. If I had to listen to that while leveling, that is really, really cool. So, Leonid looks over the keepsake. I watched as the human, Ras Frostwhisper, pledged his undying soul to the Lich King. He drew the dagger to his own throat and, with a smile, cut from ear to ear. His body collapsed inside the borders of the pentagram. The Lich King stood over the fallen mage, and with a single motion, Ras Frostwhisper, the Lich, was born. Yes, person, I remember. What you seek has a name. Menethil's gift. The ground blessed by the Lich King. Holy ground to scourge. All right. So, travel to Stratholm and find Menethil's gift. Place the keepsake of remembrance upon the unholy ground. I look at my undeath as a malady person. An illness that merely requires treatment. However... It is also a great blessing for the Argent Dawn. What better vessel to smite the heathens of the Scourge than through the undead? I am revered by my colleagues because of the sacrifices I have made. But the accolades mean nothing to me. If you are interested in assisting the Argent Dawn, then a job I can offer. Venture to Stratholm and recover our surplus of holy water. Search the supply crates. So, travel to Stratholm in the north, search the supply crates that led to the city and recover five Stratholm holy water. Return to Leonid Bartholomew the Revered when you have collected enough of the Blessed Fluid. And we will be able to choose one of these. And this thing looks really cool, guys. This thing gives me, like, Lich King crown vibes. It is plus 20 intellect and 6 mana per 5 seconds. Not something we care about too much, but it's got a really cool icon. Does it also look cool? Is it? It's a headpiece, right? Really? This right here is what it looks like on the icon. This is what it looks like in game. Please. Please. Please, game. Please. Okay, and then the band of the penitent improves your chance to get a critical strike by 1%. Which also... Oh, it's a finger, actually. Wait, that one might be good for us. That might... That might be better than the 10 intellect and 11 spirit. I'm not sure, though. Like, 1% crit... Nah, I don't think 1% crit is worth it. Plus 10 intellect might actually give me 1% crit as well. I'm not too sure. I think our current thing is better. Then again, I'll worry about that when we are actually at the point where we do go get it. So, Manitol's gift is already completed. I guess I just have to go to a place and then, then something else starts there. I think there's a couple of other Stratholm quests here as well. So, I'll see which one are Stratholm. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. oh, wait, of course. That's because there's like these scourge stone things. The archivist. I think I saw this one in the list. Anything taken to an extreme is hazardous to our world, adventurer. Take, for example, the Scarlet Crusade. Do you believe that their blind zealotry serves a greater good? How many innocents have they destroyed in the name of the light? Blasphemers, one and all. One in particular interests me, though. The archivist Galford of Stratholm. A man that watches over the Crusade's most valued documents. Destroy him and burn down his archives. Should you succeed, return to me and be rewarded. So travel to Stratholm and find Archivist Galford of the Scarlet Crusade. Destroy him and burn down the Scarlet Archive. Be 
All right, there we go. And then I think this guy might also have a quest. Have no, that one didn't have a quest. So uh, I'm just going to quickly check whether these are the easy to pick up quests. That is four quests. You know, I said that before. I don't really care about having all the quests. I'll just pick up whatever quests come kind of easy. I like the fact that at least this one is a quest that started all the way back in Scullamans and now continues as a quest chain into Stratholm which is just a very cool setup and I like following these longer chains. I don't really care as much about the very short ones. I mean, they give good rewards and stuff in terms of gold, I guess, but none of the items, as far as I was able to tell from the guide or like the, the list of the quest rewards was any good for me personally. So yeah, I'm mostly getting the quest for, I guess almost for like completionist sake or lore sake. I don't really care about most of the rewards, but you know, if I can get some additional gold for free, then why not? All right, so as I'm waiting for Revenus to finish up his run through Blackrock Depths, you know, he's now doing the jailbreak thing, I think, which, <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a boring run. Uh, but, you know, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for him to wrap things up, uh, what I'll do instead is I'll do a bit of exploring because we do have some areas that we haven't really been to. You know, in my tier list that, you know, some of you may have seen, some of you may have not seen, but I did a live stream tier list the other day. I, I felt a bit bad because I put this map at the very bottom. And I don't think this map deserves the very bottom. So, you know, I, I, I really feel like I just, I haven't really explored this map enough and I haven't really given it a, uh, like a, a, a fair chance because there is, you know, like Ter's hand down here. There's like this cool Corinth crossing place. Darius Shar is here. The place does have a lot of cool elements and I probably just haven't really seen all of it. You know, you can see like there's like parts up here and up here that I haven't really seen like at all. So what I want to do now is I want to spend a little bit of time exploring this stuff, seeing if I run into anything that's cool and... Then after that, I suppose I will go and do Stratholm, which I'm really looking forward to. I have no idea what it's like. All I know about Stratholm is that it has two sides, like a living side and, an, and, an, and a dead side. And I would like to do a full clear, but I'm perfectly fine, you know, playing both of them in separate parties. But I would love to go through all of it because, you know, more content, more fun. All right, I was looking for some entrance into this area, but... I guess it's not here at least. It might be either inaccessible or maybe from some different entrance. Oh, that reminds me, guys. I wanted to ask you because of the tier list. You know, people weren't there for the tier list, which is perfectly fine. You know, I wasn't expecting people to all show up massively, which is uh, it's all good. But I did want to pose you guys the question. If you could give me your... Like, your favorite... Okay, so if, if you were to go on a vacation to any map and, you know exclude the maps uh, sorry exclude the mobs the monsters from the equation okay so you know you don't have to think about which mobs are there how dangerous things are just based on aesthetics based on vibes based on how you like a map which three maps would you most want to go on a vacation to and i almost want to say don't choose elwyn like let's remove elwyn from the question okay because elwyn is always everyone's number one and it has to be classic maps, because otherwise I know everyone's going to say like this Grizzly Hills place, whatever it's called, which looks incredible. I do agree. So it's any classic map, excluding Elwyn. Give me your top three. I'm really curious what you guys will be choosing. And ooh, I've got to be a little bit careful here, I guess. I'll just keep on running. There's something up here called Zul Mashar, which sounds kind of cool. I did not come in prepared because I am rambling about things. I, I don't even have my buffs active right now. Am I dead? P potentially. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Wait, hold on. How strong am I? Wait, how strong am I, guys? Look at me. Look at me go. I'm taking like three mobs. I don't even have buffs on me. I would like to buff myself right now, but I don't really... Actually, I can. Hold on. Here we go. Boop. Look at how strong I am. Four mobs. Level 58 mobs. Not giving a damn here. Look at this. Look at my... My infinite power. I'm a Sith Lord. Because at least that's where I think the quote is from, right? Like the infinite power. And then, you know, like the lightning chains. This is like a lightning chain kind of thing. Just in case you were missing the joke. But yeah, give me your top three maps you would like to go on vacation to. And also, if you want to add something else to it, give me your bottom maps. You know, it can be one map. It can be more maps, depending on how many you want. Like, I don't want to have you guys, to, you know, have to think of six maps. But, you know, if you think of, like, your top three maps to go to and, like, the one map you wouldn't want to go to, let me know. Because I'm kind of curious to see what kind of different answers we might get from that. All right, I don't want to go here. You know, I, I could fight my way through here, 
and I could make my way to Zul Mashar, but I guess there's not really a purpose, right? And I don't want to just like grind mobs forever just to be able to go there and I don't know, not not have anything. So I'll, I'll continue exploring in this direction. Let's see, North Pass Tower, Alliance progressing. Okay, still don't know what exactly it means to have these things controlled. I mean, we have all control, we have all towers controlled. I also don't know how the differences in horde population as opposed to alliance population on the wild growth service maybe it's like very much alliance skewed i have no idea oh conjuring shrine what is this can i can i click on it i guess i mean it's it's ours already right oh lord aaron's blessing health increased in eastern plaguelands stratholm and scolomans by five percent hey hey that's cool was this building up here meant to resemble a cross? Look at the minimap. That's a cross, right? Cal Lithian Lodge. This... Dude, this reminds me a lot... Okay, these are friendly mobs. This reminds me a lot of being in... Um, in Lokmodam. And, you know, we had this area with this timed quest. This from... Like, like, walking up here and then coming in from behind the building... This reminds me a lot of that place. And I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I think it was to the east of the lake. And somehow that memory just like activated, you know? So what do we have here? Just a bunch of random guys. No quests, no vendors. Nothing. Maybe like some interactable books. Some lore. Is there anything here? Or is it literally just a guard's post that's supposed to look cool? Which is fine, but I was hoping there would at least be something here. I guess there isn't. So we continue onward, and I think Stratholm is up there. And I have no idea what Stratholm looks like, but I think someone mentioned that Skullamund is like a smaller Stratholm. So I'm guessing Stratholm is like, you know, Skullamund is a big brother. So I'm really curious to see what I will encounter when I go to Stratholm. Okay, we're back in Plaguewood. Now, Plaguewood is a part of this zone that I do quite enjoy. It just looks very different, you know? Like, everything looks kind of samey. But this part looks very different. And I quite enjoy the aesthetic here. With all the ziggurats and stuff, like, it looks very, like, endgame undead to me. And, and I enjoy it. Like, these things look really cool. I love them. I guess I'll have to go to the north. I mean, I could have probably just followed the path and then taken the path north. But, you know, we are... We are wandering through. We are wandering about. And I guess that in the distance, that must be Stratholm. Here we go, Stratholm. Yeah, there was a path there. I'm just taking the scenic route, guys. Don't worry about me. We've discovered Stratholm. Ooh, it is. Oh, oh boy. Do I fall down? I don't fall down. And Crypt Walkers. Okay. We don't care about those. Level 56. We just keep on walking. You really want to aggro me? You want to fight me? Well... You know what? You know what? I will. I will mess you up. I will mess you up bad. I think these are really cool mob designs, by the way. The Crypt Walkers. I quite like them. Now, if you are very bad with spiders, then this might be a little bit frightening. With, like, you know, with with all the eyes and stuff. But I, you know, I'm, I'm fairly alright with spiders, so I don't really care. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I didn't trigger someone's severe arachnophobia there, guys. If so, my sincerest apologies. And they also give Arch and Dawn reputation. Okay, so I can farm it in both dungeons. Dude, it's such a fun track to farm. Because you can just farm it in the dungeons, which is much more fun. So, meeting stone for Stratholm. Can I mount still here? I can't mount here. Okay. So, is the entrance just... Yeah, it's just here. Okay. Well, that's cool. It's not even that hard to reach. Like, you just go onto the path here, you walk the path, go up here, and you're at Stratholm. Not too bad. You know what? While I'm waiting, let me check the inside. Also, someone in my guild is called Bicepius, which is such a cool name. I love it. Bicepius. Oh, cool loading, loading screen. Ooh. I like the way it looks like it's an actual city. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, wait. Hold on. How, how am I... How do I leave... Torch. How how do I? Hello. Hello. Wait, what happens if I just log out and log back in? I mean, I can always die and I will respawn outside the dungeon and I can you know revive myself, but then I get the summoning or the reviving sickness or whatever, which is kind of annoying. 
Nope, I'm still here. Okay, I did not mean to enter Stratholm and then not be able to go out. So I guess... I guess I will go die. For the Alliance! Here we go, here we go. For the Alliance, guys. Hold on. Wait, how... Well, actually, wait. How weak are these mobs? They're, they're dungeon mobs, right? Shouldn't they be very strong? Hold on. Am I, am I powerful enough? Do I have the power? Can I just solo clear this? You know, they... They don't face me. They don't face me in the least. Actually, my guy's already dead. But it's fine. It's fine. We get the drain. We get this. We get the haunt. We get this thing. Can we, like, loop around the corner here? Like, so they have to walk over to us? Yes, we save a little bit of time. Uh, they might be out of mana, actually, which is really convenient. Here we get the kill. We do this. We kite around a little bit. Make sure they can't melee us because they're out of mana. Oh, wait, they're not out of mana. Oh, boy. Did I just greet? Did I grieve? Did I grieve greet? Okay, we keep on running. I will have to life tap here once so I can apply another haunt. Get this thing. This. Life drain. Shadow bolt. And chill. Like, there we go. We cleared an entire group. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Look at this. Alright, now I guess I'll go die. Because... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa what? All right, guys, I know what I'm doing here. This right here. This is the thumbnail. Here we go. What? Wait, hold on. The living are here. Oh, no. Wait, this is even cooler. Hold on. This is even cooler. Here we go. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wait, what is this? Eye of Nexramus. Nexramus? Next Ramus, that's the final raid, isn't it? Okay, well, I got my thumbnail. I got my, my like, well, the background of my thumbnail. You guys will see it. All right, I'll see you guys when I do eventually enter Stratholm in a bit. Oh, by the way, while I'm waiting here, I wanted to take a moment and just quickly talk about the extremely long comments that some of you guys have been leaving me. And first of all, let me just say, I, I love every single comment I get, but especially those super long comments, you know, talking about seven or eight different things that I talked about in a video and giving me answers and giving me recommendations and telling me whether I was right or whether I was wrong. wrong. All of those things, like, I absolutely love them. But you may have noticed that some of you guys haven't been getting responses from me. And that is not because I don't like the comments. First of all, let me, let me make that very clear. So please do not stop commenting because you think I don't care or anything like that. It's, um... It's this, it's, it's this weird thing where, you know, I, I want to respond to them, but I feel like in text, you know, I, I can't really do it justice. I, I want to, you know, I want to be able to talk to you guys to them like this. Um, but then also, like, on the other hand, I want to do them on the video, but I also don't want to spend, like, you know, 20 to 30 minutes in every video talking about them because I feel like the people who don't care about those parts might find them a bit annoying. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to clarify that please do keep leaving the long comments. I read every single one of those comments. So, um, like especially those very long ones like i read them like two or three times to make sure i like i fully absorb the information so please don't let my lack of answers on some of the comments be a reason as to why you think you shouldn't leave comments so please yes do keep leaving comments because i very much appreciate them and i'm still kind of figuring out how i want to do things i mentioned that i have been live streaming a little bit and i will be much more comfortable just like having a long form discussion about some of the stuff you guys have been talking about in in those in those live streams so, you know, come stop by, give me some advice, let me know what you think, and we can have much more, f like, free form chat there. So, uh, yeah, that was my little rant. I'll see you guys in Stratholm. Okay, so I found a party for a full run, and it seems we are starting in what is known as the undead side. And the living side starts in, you know, proper Stratholm, but apparently starting through the undead side means oh a crimson courier oh boy please please don't murder me there's lots of mobs here don't charge me oh they knocked me back they gave me more movement speed that's fine uh but yeah apparently this one this one starts at like the back door over here at um well there's like mountain side so i guess i'll run there and we can go through a different entrance which is kind of cool also i wonder what happens because if you're playing undead and you enter through the main hole. Does it also say the living are here? Or will it say the undead are here? Because you're not actually the living, are you? The east wall gate. Here we go. And I guess this one requires a key of some sort. Requires key to the city. Here we go. Alright. Gotta make sure I get my summons up. And we get to go in. I'm excited. 
All right, we're in. We're in the... Um, yeah, we're definitely coming in, like, you know, the back of the place. And these are indeed the undead. So I guess this is the undead side. I will let everybody else lead me. I have no idea where we're going. But it should be a good time. I quite like the way this place looks. You know, it looks very red. But, like, very, you know, dark and ominous red. Like, it's, it's burning a little bit. But not, like, fully on fire. I quite enjoy the way this place looks. Also, I need to equip my item. I forgot to equip the item. Uh, let me equip this thing and put it there. There we go. It's been solved. The problem has been solved. We are absolutely blasting through these mobs, like, super quickly. Oh, there's the first plagued... Oh, yeah, plagued flesh sample. We need those for the quest, so that is really good. All right, I guess we will have to get the key to the city somewhere. I've kind of been bypassing the whole, you know, prerequisite stuff for, you know, the keys and stuff. So I, I don't have the key for... Uh, for Scolomans either, which I kind of do want to get at some point. Because I think there's a question that starts in the, like, the, the Chillwind camp. So I think I do want to go do that, just so I have the key for the future. Uh, hold on, there's a debuff on me. And... Your intrusion has alerted Baron Riven there. His prisoner doesn't have much time left. Wait, we have a timer? We have a timer? That's cool. I mean, I'm not sure I like it. It might be annoying, but I reckon because of the power creep, the timer doesn't bother us in the least. I guess the timer might go away when, you know, when we kill Baron Riverdare or something. It says his prisoner doesn't have much time, so I reckon we're not actually on a timer. But if you want to save the prisoner, which we might want to do for some reason, like maybe for a quest or something, um, I reckon that is the timer, and we can still continue doing it, but we just have to be in time to be able to rescue whoever the prisoner is. Oh, they've got these ziggurats as well in here. That's cool. So the undead have taken over the city? Like, do they just actually, like, live in the city now? Dude, this silence over here, this deafening screech, cannot cast spells, like, six seconds long. It's just ruining all of my DPS potential. It, it, they keep using it. Like, we have to take, take these benches out quickly, because they keep silencing me, and I just can't DPS when the thing is on me. Oh, there we go. Next Remus again. Uh, or, like, the next Remus guy, who says, Oh, the living are here. Are these the mobs from the latest expansion, guys? Are these the War Within mobs? Because this is Guys called like Nurup Enken. And I think Nurup something, like I think I read like the new raid is like the palace of Nurup, whatever. In retail. So is this the enemy faction you're dealing with in the wall within? I think it's like some ancient spider race or something. Which does sound kind of cool. Okay, I guess we're all needing for the scourge stones. Oh, we go into like the ziggurat areas. Ooh, this is a cool place. It's a bit claustrophobic i guess but it's quite cool nonetheless what did we just achieve by going in there and killing a couple of mobs probably something i like the contrasting green and red that looks quite cool there's also these ziggurat like power things in the top i think in Warcraft 3 like these things shot like an energy beam at their targets all right another boss baroness anastari so is there a boss on each of these ziggurats and then we just have to go and kill all of those Oh, she disappeared before she... Oh, never mind, she's back. Drop me sandals! Drop me sandals! There we go. I'm really happy about that, because that is a part of my tier 0 dungeon set. Cool, that's 5 out of si uh, five out of 8. And I'm sitting on 89 reels, so I can easily pick up the rest pretty soon. So I think one more drops from the living side, and two more drops from Scolomans, but the Scolomans drops just have not come in. Yep, another ziggurat, another boss. Maleki the pallet. A pale moon cloak. Nope, not very good for me. I still don't know exactly what we're doing clearing these things, but there must be a reason why we need to clear these ziggurats. I guess we're doing something by clearing these out. I guess we have to clear all of them out or something for some purpose. Oh. Uh, an Ashari crystal has been toppled. Restore the ziggurat before the necropolis is vulnerable. So... I guess that's what's happening. Like, we're clearing these things and then we're turning something off. And then, at some point, the necropolis becomes vulnerable. So, is there a connection between this place and Next Ramus? Because I keep seeing references to Next Ramus here. And I, re I really don't know exactly what Next Ramus is, but I guess the places must be connected in some way. Oh, Magistrate Barthelos. Who looks like a very big ghoul guy. We killed the ghoul guy. Also, I should swap away from the Felguard thing again and uh, put on my um, my other thing. I keep forgetting to do that. A P 
Peacemaker polearm. Key to the city. There we go. There it is. I don't have that, so I will I will need for it. I got it. The key to the city. Master key to the city of Stratholm. Cool. Oh, wow. All kinds of very big guys. Level 61. All right. Really cool place, by the way. Like this big central area with all of these big like butcher-like mobs. This guy is called a bile spewer. I guess I should not be in front of him because he'll probably spew some sort of, well, bile poisonous thing in my face, which I don't like. Don't spit on me, guys. Don't spit on me. So do we have to kill all of these to, like, open up this gate or something? I quite like this dungeon, guys. Just at least aesthetically, I think it's a very pleasing dungeon. I really like Stratholm so far. Oh, these bile slimes are summoned by the bile spewers. Okay. So he summons like small ads. Kind of cool. All right. So these are the final ones. So does this open up the gate in the middle once we've killed these two? Let me let me see if I can get a bit of a peek at the gate. If that's... Oh. Trade abomination stitching. I don't know what that is, but I, I will get it. It's a quest item. Or I will look to get it. So, um, a Baron Riverdale yells, So, you see fit a toy with the Lich King's creations? Rammstein, hey, you know, I will I will yell some duhast in your face. Um, he says, Be sure to give the intruders a proper greeting. And he yells, Rammstein in hunger for flesh. Right, really cool. Big guy comes through. Uh, anything that I want, of course... Did I get that thing? I got that thing. So I don't need it anymore, I guess. Unless it's a repeatable thing, which... Maybe? I don't know. A coin? Yep, a coin. Okay, cool. And now we continue in this direction, I guess. Yeah, this gate is opened up now. So we can now continue into this other part of the city. Wait, I have to go in here, I think. For a quest. Hold on, does it open up? Does it open up? What exactly is happening here? Will he come out himself or something? Are we just waiting? Because I have to go there for the Manathil's gift thing. Okay, so I'm going to put a trap down. So I'm guessing the door will open soon. Oh, these are the supply crates for the quest. Oh. Oh, cool. I guess I should pay attention to those. As long as that thing isn't open yet, I guess I'll go quickly grab some of this. Oh, I'm interrupted by some maggots. Blackguard sentry else, who dares disturb our master? Okay, I guess I can't just go and grab these right now. Oh, lots of mobs spawned. And the gate is now open. We can go into the ziggurat. Time to take matters into my own hands. Come, enter my domain and challenge the might of the scourge. Baron Riverdale. Or Riverdare, I'm sorry. Alright, let's see what this guy has. The slaughterhouse. Ooh. Oh, whoa, this guy looks so cool. This guy looks so cool. Holy shit. Like an undead guy on a horse. Dude, this guy looks super cool. Oh, you did it. You slain Baron Riven there. The Argent Dawn shall hear of your valiant deeds. We pick this thing up and I think we can use his book now, maybe? We need to step on this place. Wait, can I not do something here? Can I talk to her? Well met. Uh, I'll be fine for now. Don't worry about me. I'll find a way out of here. Once I perform some cleansing rituals in this room, foul, foul magic stained this place, EK. Uh, don't think... Alright, I'll, I'll leave. I'll, I'll leave for now. I'll I'll, I'll look into how, what I need to do here. And if I need to do something here, I'll return later. I, I guess I just don't really know what to do, but it's it's fine. It's fine. I, I will run this multiple times, most likely, anyway, so it's all good. Though I think the guys need to, you know, they want to keep the pace up. Which is understandable. So is that the undead side done? Oh, oh, mobs. Mobs. Hold on. Hold on. Are we, are we dying? Okay. The, the, the people are coming back. Okay. I think we might be good. As long as the tank can... Yeah, he can save us. Okay. I did not see the mobs around the corner there. I was taking a sip of my drink. That was all my bad. And that happened there. I'm just very glad that uh, Revan stayed around to give me a little hand here. Because I would have died otherwise. Oh, we're also honored now with Argent Dawn, but we still get reputation for mob kills, so that's that's good, I guess. But yeah, there's honored, then I think there's revered, and then I think there's exalted. 
Have we ever reached revered with anything? Were we revered with... Yeah, with the Emerald... With the Emerald Warrant, I guess. So... I'm pretty sure we'll get revered with... The Arch and Dawn as well. I don't know if I'll go for Exalted. I don't know if there's a reason for me to go for Exalted, but... I guess we'll see where I end up. Because I'll be doing this content anyway for, you know, coins and stuff. Up to 94 coins, guys. 94 coins. Lots of coins. So we now go to the Elder's Square. Is this the living side that we're going towards? Actually, we're running back through a path we've already been to. Let's go, Bommy. Bommy knows the way. I think we came from over there. I think that was the entrance. Ooh, patchwork horrors. Big, toxic horrors. Oh, we're pulling like half the square here. I mean, I guess that's the goal. Dude, this guy is a is a beastly tank. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's tanking everything. He doesn't care. He is, he's OP. Oh, half singer forest. Oh, wait, who's that guy? Rare elite undead. Weird semi-spirit guy. What are you doing here? What do you want? Is he a, is he a boss? Does, does he give me a coin? Are we coining? Oh, are we entering the living side now? Was this the end of the undead side? Are we now in the living side? Like, I guess it's one big dungeon, but some people run only one part, maybe because they only want, like, a drop from a specific side or something. But I guess it is kind of like one big dungeon. Just with two very distinct sides. And you can enter from either side. Well, if you have the key to the... The key to the castle, whatever it was called. The key to the kingdom. I don't know. Oh, by the way, I managed to disable all those... You know, like, PvP title things, which were kind of annoying to me. Because, you know, it was making it harder to see what people's names were and stuff. Like, I'd like it to be cleaner. So, I removed that and now it's much better. Now I just see a name instead of, you know, like... Sergeant something and then, and then the name. Oh, will I just be stuck at 19 out of 20 plague flesh samples? Wait, Timmy the Cruel. <laughs> what a name, Timmy the Cruel. Please, please, if you were to drop this thing for me, I would be very happy because I don't really mind having to run this again, obviously, but, you know, if I'm stuck at 19 out of 20, that would be kind of crappy. So please drop the thing you need to drop, okay? Thank you. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. You're very kind. You're very kind on that. Thank you, Timmy. Bye, Timmy. Guys, this video goes out in the honor of Timmy. The Scarlet Bastion. Oh, is this the life side kind of like the Scarlet place? And we need the Scarlet Key. <gasps> Wait, is that the same key that we got from the Scarlet Monastery? Does the same key come to come into play again? Oh, we're like in, you know, a whole... So there's an endgame Scarlet dungeon kind of, is there? I don't know if we're... Like if there'll be like an entire Scarlet place. Like if the remainder of this thing will be Scarlet. But I love the idea that there's like this big Scarlet place inside of Scarlet. Dude... The WoW designers truly were they, were... they were a cool bunch, guys. They were a cool bunch. They had so many cool ideas back then. Don't know how they do nowadays, but they had so many cool ideas back then. So I think this side of the dungeon... The Hall of Lights. Ooh, I love the aesthetic here. It's like Scarlet Monastery, but better. Oh, we're getting flanked from this side by a whole bunch of skeletons as well. Haha. <laughs> See... My, my group knew they were coming, but I didn't know they were coming. And if nobody knows they're coming, this can be quite the, the, the thing, I guess. This this must have caused wipes back in the day, you know, with only classic stuff. People will have wiped here just because they were like, oh, crap. There's like a whole group behind us as they were engaging this group. Hey, stop knocking me back. I'm trying to cast a shadow bolt over here, okay? Thank you. Timmy, come help me. Dude, this place looks really cool. This is like Scarlet, Mo Scarlet Monastery, but potentially even better. Although I can't really remember, like, many parts of Scala Monastery. I mean, I remember bits of it, and I, I thought it was a super cool dungeon. Like, if there's any dungeon I would love to rerun again, um, if I level another character at some point, it would be Scala Monastery. I think, uh, like, out of the leveling dungeons, it was probably one of the cooler ones. I really enjoyed it. Like, it was well-paced, it was fun. There were, like, lots of different drops, lots of different paths. I quite enjoyed it. Oh, my skill in wands is 299, almost maxed out. Uh, Crimson Gallant yells, they have broken into the Hall of Light. We must stop the intruders. Well, you can try, but you will s not succeed. Stop knocking me back, sir. That is not very friendly. Or miss. I don't know. Maybe I'm misgendering and that's why you're angry. Oh, wait. Mela the Zealous. There was a, a boss here. I didn't even realize that. Well, I guess we got a coin. Can I get this drop? There's something in here. Hello. Scarlet Bastion. I guess we do have to go there, probably. 
There's so many ways to go. All right, we follow them. 97 coins. We're moving up in the world. There's books in here as well. A pedestal. What can I do with this pedestal? What is this? The ancient kingdom rediscovered trades one master for another. Okay, don't know what it is, but cool. All right, let me not keep them waiting too long. Lore can come later, guys. We are now pumping. I think our healer got polymorph just a second ago, which... Whoa, a righteous orb. That thing sells for so much. I didn't get it myself. I'm fine with that, you know. Okay, cool. So, so someone got it. That, that was a really big drop. You know, I've seen people on LFG saying like hard reserve first orb. So I guess the orbs can drop and, you know, people are trying to hard reserve them. I think there was a guy telling me that there was a guy uh, in the dungeon, or sorry, in the dungeon LFG, who, who was looking for like four hours trying to find people for his hard reserve group. Because obviously nobody wants to join that because everyone wants to have a chance at looting that thing. That thing is like 64 gold. Like I can understand why people would want to loot that thing. I think it's only fair, you know, to just... You know, just, just RNG it. And, you know, if you don't want to RNG it, sure. Um, I guess multiple can drop. So I think a round robin system, which I've been told, is just... Everyone will have a chance at, at one. But once you have one, you can't get the next one. So if, you know, like two or three drop during a run. I don't know if that many drop, but if that happens... Then, you know, like your chances go up on each one. Which I think is only fair. Wouldn't be surprised if people, f like, farm this a little bit as well just for orbs. If they're, you know, somewhat common drops. What you can also do, you know, especially if you have like a guild group or something, if if one drops, you just you know you just sell it and you you share the gold value. You know, if it's like if it's like sixty gold, then you know you go twelve gold per person, something like that. There's there are some some systems you can use to make sure it's so somewhat fair. Uh, I mean, that's assuming people do it for the sale value. I mean, maybe you will need them for something else. I don't know. Cannon master Willy. You've had Timmy. Now we have Willy. Great names. Cheers. I haven't even looked at what I need to do for the quest, by the way. I honestly have no idea. Oh, what is this? Uh, ooh, that's a much better neck item than what I have right now. Ooh, I want that. I'll look into it a bit more later, but I'll definitely need that. Don't need that. And I will greet that. Okay, cool. We got a reel. Oh, we can... We can get... Scarlet Cannonball. Wait, can I? Fire the cannon! Okay, so I can pick up a cannonball and I can fire stuff. Don't think I need to do anything else here anymore. That's, I guess, a pretty cool thing. Alright, run back to our group. Crimson Gallon Gels. The Scourge have broken through all in all wings. May the light defeat these foul creatures. We shall fight at last. Well, I wish you the best of luck, good sir. Oh, these are the undead that we're talking about. You know, they're flanking us. Are, are we besties with the the crimson gallant probably not so am i am i to to gather that we're like a third party here like you know there's the undead there's the crimson um and or like the skull and monastery guys and are we like a third party who is just kind of on neither side but you know we're also kind of murdering both of them is there something here nope all right we push on forward I'm having a good time in this dungeon, guys. It's, it's it's engaging. It's just, you know, it's not super difficult, but it, you know, it flows quite well. There's there's a good amount of combat. There aren't like many annoying mobs, I guess, besides these creatures who kept silencing me. There were some knockbacks, but that's fine. You can just kind of stay away from them, I think. So overall, yeah, pretty pretty fun dungeon. I will 100% play this a couple more times to get some drops, get some reels. Now, I'm really liking this setup, and I've said it a couple times now, I think, but I'm really liking this setup where I, you know, I covered a, a, a new dungeon. Uh, this will not be the end of the Scarlet Crusade. You will not break our line. Wait, is, is he here? I don't think he's here. But yeah, you know, I cover a new dungeon on, on, on the videos. And then, uh, you know, then I, I spend a little bit of time outside of the recordings, you know, playing through it. Uh, you know, doing like two, three, four different runs. I'm, you know, I'm still farming. Um, oh, Archivist Gelford. This is one of the guys we had to cover the quest. But yeah, I'm, I'm still doing Blackrock Depths and like low Blackrock Spire on occasion whenever I'm, you know, doing something else. But I can, I can like multitask, and I, but I can't record. That's why I keep getting all the coins. Oh, that's not an orb. Okay. So now four people do this and one person passes. Okay. Dude, this is, this is big money. Let's see. Do we get it? No, we don't get it. Okay. But that's fine. Someone else got it. Uh, Grand Crusader. Oh, there's like multiple Grand Crusader guys. Wait, do we? Can we like burn it down here? Attacking. Okay. We're attacking the book. 
Attack the book. There we go. Devout gloves. I mean, that's for the devout set. I don't need that. Look at this. Burning this entire place down. We are. We're such badasses. See, we are. We are the 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 you know the worst of this party, right? Okay, so this must be the final boss for the um for the living side, I guess. I kind of like how you you have two sides where on both sides there's like one um one boss who keeps talking to you throughout the entire run. Oh, <gasps> whoa, he's not living. Wait, hold on, hold on. So today you have unmade what took me years to create for you. They shall all die by my hand. And then he's, and then a Balnazar yells, you fools think you can defeat me so easily. Face the true might of Nathrezim. But I'm also trying to include you some level of skills. Light Forest Booch. Oh, I think those is, uh, I think Revenus really wants those for his set. That's cool. Uh, the Shroud thing is better. Maybe like stand alone, but I will, I will, I'll commit to the set. All right, I think that might be the quest done, or like the run done, or or is there still going to be like this final boss? Damn you mortals, all my plans of revenge, all my hate, all burned to ash. So, Balnazar. I was just kind of waiting till someone said thanks. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, that was a cool run, guys. I will go hand in the quests in a bit. And, oh, I guess there's, like, lots of mobs who have respawned, so I guess we will just teleport out, most likely. But, yeah, I'll go hand in some quests, and that should wrap up the video. But this was really, really fun. All right, I'm back. So, we spent about 20 minutes or so. We had to clear our way through, like, a lot of undead that had stormed the uh, the Scarlet area. So, we had to, you know, two-man clear through a lot of it. Kind of the same thing we had to do in uh, in, uh, in Skullman's, but, you know, on, like, a bigger scale. But I fought my way back, and I'm back over here. Uh, he first of all told me that apparently Death Charge's reigns is a drop from Baron Rivendare, which is a mount. And I'm assuming it's the mount that he was riding on, which was, was like this super cool looking mount. Um, I don't know what the drop chance is. I'm assuming it's extremely low, but dropping this sounds super cool. Also, I wonder if, you know, when the thing pops up, it's like a thing where, you know, everyone's like, dude, I will hard reserve this or something, because this must be like a very rare drop. Anyway, um, I was trying to interact with the book, that didn't work. You know what? If I just hover my mouse over it, I, I can just click it. So, the area around Menethil's gift is exceptionally cold. Hello there, my friend. Continue. You place the keepsake on the tainted soil. I receive four golds. The soul of the fallen clings to that which represents its former life and transforms the item into a soulbound keepsake. You pick the item up and place it in your pack. Take the soulbound keepsake to Leonid Bartholomew in Eastern Platelands. Okay, there we go. Plus, uh, can I talk to this NPC still? I think there was nothing here. Yeah. Um, I was also shared a quest, which is the Great Ezra Grimm. I don't know where he got it from exactly, but uh, he shared it with me. So I guess we can do this later as well. And I'll, I'll just have it be read out real quick. Terrible thing! What happened to Fraz? You see, the town was sacked, and Fraz didn't want to leave his precious goods behind. The last thing I remember him saying was, I'll burn every last leaf before they get their damn dirty hands on them. I may love a good stogie, but I'm no fool. I left Fraz and his delightful store that day. I assume he went down in flames, but if there's a chance that even one box of his famous tobacco is still intact, what do you say, adventurer? Find a box for old Smokey. So, yeah, I guess I can go find this box. I don't know where it is, and for now, I'll, I'll leave it. But, you know, I have it in my in my M3. I wanted to share it so you guys know exactly what quests I have in here. Um, don't know where it is, but I'll see if I happen to run into it in one of my future runs. Uh, now I want to go hand in the Archivist and the Flesh Does Not Lie. And, of course, the other one, uh, Manathil's Gift. I want to go hand all of those in, so I guess I'll cut back in when I'm over there. All right, we're back with a whole lot of quests to complete. So first of all, let's do the most interesting one. Let's go to Leonid Bartholomew the Revered and have a chat with our best undead friend. Our only undead friend, but also our best undead friend. What now? What now? All right, uh, Manathil's Gift. Beware the living, Leonid shudders. As the soul clung to the keepsake, so shall it cling to the physical form of Wrath's Frost Whisper. Right, complete quest. Return to Marduk with the keepsake, adventurer. He will instruct you in its use. All right, we go back to Marduk. That's perfectly fine. I'll keep it in my inventory. And then we can, Beware. well, continue over there. Next up, we have two more quests. So I did make some progress, by the way, on House of the Holy. I found some um of the stuff in the in the crates but it was quite difficult to find especially with like a lot of mobs that we hadn't actually killed because we took like a very efficient route 
So that's not something that I did right now, but something that I will do on future runs. But of course, we can now also go talk with these two NPCs. So first of all, let's talk to Bettina Bizzlegink, or Bigglesink, who thinks I'm very tall. The Plaguelands are an excellent place to strike against the Scourge. The flesh does not, in fact, lie. You have a great day. All right, some say I worry too much. To them, I say you don't worry enough. There is something that has changed in the chemical structure of the Plague's active agents. More data is required. Even more data? You will have to delve deeper into Stratholme Adventurer. Beyond the first gate, you will find the Ziggurats. We know that the Scourge draws great power from these structures. Search the Ziggurats and return with any information that you may discover. All right, travel to Stratholme and search the Ziggurats. Find and return new Scourge data to Bettina uh, Bigglesink. And we can choose the Seal of the Dawn. Plus 81 attack power when fighting undead. Not something we care about. Or... Rune of the Dawn, which initially I thought was, you know, like an actual rune for like the rune system. But apparently it is a trinket. And it's also unique in a sense that I guess you can't equip both of these. Because I guess they're both counted as a trinket of the Dawn. So only one of them can be active at a time. But this one is increased damage done to undead by magical spells. So, you know, 48 spell power. And also allows the acquisition of Scourge Stones on behalf of the Argent Dawn. So, what this means is very simple. It is an upgraded version of the Argent Dawn Commission that also gives you a damage modifier. So, it is very, very strong. And... You would want to run it anyway. So this is a really, really cool reward. And I will 100% be looking to get this. Because that's a really good farming thing. Amazing. I love that. That's a really good design. And then we have Duke Nicholas Zverenhof. Zverenhof. Whatever. What can I do for you? The Archivist. Outstanding adventurer. Years of intelligence. Lost. The Scarlet Crusade will surely feel this blow in the coming weeks. Here you go. Complete quest. Be careful. All right, and then of course we can go handle these things, but we won't because we'll be saving them and saving them and saving them. We are honored, as I talked about, and I will probably save them all until I get to Revered. And then we'll nuke everything in order to get to Exalted, I guess. Because so far it seems to still be very easy progress. All right, uh, let's see. So we do have the uh, Soulbound Keepsake thing, which I do want to grab as a part of this video. So I'll go over there and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we've returned. Let me use my Spectral Essence. And then we can talk to Magistrate Marduk once again. Oh, we need to be closer. Guys, we need to... We need to be closer to the Magistrate, you know? We need to be able to, uh, to smell him. Hello, sir. Uh, Soulbound Keepsake. Have you done the impossible? I was certain that you would be joining me as another hapless spirit. No, no, because we are OP. There is but one task remaining, adventurer. Confront the Lich, Ross Frost Whisper, in his lair. Use the power of the Keepsake against the beast. Be unrelenting in your actions. Weather the blows that the flailing beast will surely bring down upon you. Do not give in to the pain. When the ritual is complete, Raz will be mortal once more. It is at that point that he must be slain. Strike him down and take his human head. All right, so... Find Raz Frost Whisper, who is just a, a normal part of the coin run anyway, in Scholomans. When you have found him, use the Soulbound Keepsake on his undead visage. Should you succeed in reverting him to a mortal, strike him down and recover the human head of Raz Frost Whisper. Take the head back to Magistrate Marduk. And then, I guess this is probably the end of the chain. But I have thought that before. So we receive Derishers, or Derishire, I think it's Shire, I don't know. Uh, we reserve the uh, reserve. We receive the Strong Guard, which is probably a very good shield. Dude, the shield gives 2153 armor. That's like three times my total armor or something. Uh, we can also choose the Crown of Care Darrow, which is Frost Resistance, Spirit, Intellect, Stamina. Lots of good stuff, but probably not really better than what I have right now or what I'll be getting in, you know, in my set. The Warblade of Care Darrow, also probably a really strong thing so it is 142 to 214 damage plus 1 to 22 damage so it's not there's no like bonus in terms of stats it's just damage on top of damage and then we have darrow spike which uh, says chance on hit blasts a target for 90 frost damage 
which I guess could be kind of cool if you're using a lot of melee. Like, I guess maybe on a rogue or something, this could be nice because you're, like, hitting very frequently with, like, two daggers. But for me, not really. Like, the only thing that could be kind of decent, maybe, is the Crown of Caradero. But is it really good? Probably not. I can't see a reason as to why this would be better than what I have right now. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure it just isn't. So we accept the quest. Um, I guess I will have to do another recording in there. I was expecting not to have to do anything in there anymore, like in terms of recordings, but I guess I'll probably get the rest Frostbiss Papat in there, unless it's really boring, uh, like if nothing really happens. But, you know, I kind of want to cover him him turning human. That's kind of a cool thing. Uh, so that is everything here. I do, of course, want to mention to you, uh, first of all, let me re-equip the things I need to re-equip. So here we go. We get this thing back. And we also get this thing back. Perfect. We did loot something nice, I think. Yes, we looted the uh, Narcissus Shell Necklace. Which, I mean, you know, we now have 6 Stamina, 6 Spirit. So we get 6 Stamina as well here, but 6 Intelligence, which is... Or in Intellect, which is better than 6 Spirit. But also 1% Critical Chance and 7 Spell Damage. So overall, just a much better item. You know, gear score 749, guys. I feel like we're moving up in the world. Like, the highest I've seen is, like, 8-something. I feel like we're doing quite well. Also, I just looked up that the remaining pieces, if I wanted to go buy them for the entire set, would be 125. Now, I'm kind of hoping that one of the three remaining pieces drops, because two of them still drop from Skullamans, and one of them drops from the living side of... Um, of Stratholm. Uh, both of those dungeons I'll probably be, probably be running again tomorrow somewhere so maybe we can get one of the drops and then fill out the remaining parts by just using the uh the coins the on the mine reels and we can uh you know we can get somewhere i don't think i really learned anything else that was super cool so yeah i i guess the video will probably be done here i don't know how long it is i might slap the little part about the rest frost whisper at the very end i don't know yet if so you'll see me cut it right now if not then thank you so much for watching hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time Alright, so we are in Ras Frost Whisper's room. And I guess I can now use a book on him. Here we go, I'm channeling. Turning him human. Here we go. Channeling some ability. I told my party to, you know, chill on the DPS so I can do this and they're, you know, very willing to help me out, which is great. <laughs> my uh my tank I think is falling asleep. Actually that's not my tank, that's someone else, but hey, we're doing it. He's turning human. How does this work? He says no! And, and we say yes. Oh, oh, look at him. He's human. This cannot be. Does he still give you a coin, though? Oh, there we go. We kill him now, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. We have to bring the human head, of course. Oh, and he still has a death animation in the normal version. Okay. Uh, Cool. That is... That is the quest done. Really nice. I'll go bring it back later. First, I must finish the run for more coins. All right, equip the Spectral Essence again. Here we go. Oh, the mobs are... They're not visible, the, the ghosts. Wait, do I have to... I guess maybe I wasn't in Caradero when I equipped it. Like, unequip it. Let me swap it again with this thing. Do they spawn now? There we go. Magister Marduk. Hello. Probably one final time, I reckon. Some will spare the anguish that memories provide, which we've read a couple a couple times now. The Lich Ras Frost Whisper. The carry the you carry the burden of ten thousand restless souls, EK. Ten thousand souls cry out in unison, adventurer. You have struck a mortal blow to the scourge and their masters. So I have chosen to go for the crown of care Darrow. And the only reason for that is that there is frost resistance on the Actually, do I want to go for this? See, the thing is, there is Frost Resistance on here, and Frost Resistance, I know I'm going to need at some point in Next Ramus, because that is like a, you know, a frosty area. But at the same time, will I be wanting to use an item of this quality? I could probably get a better item at that point, because I'll be running much better gear overall. So I would have to downgrade a lot to get the Frost Resistance. Probably not worth it, right? Right. All right, so what I'll do instead is instead I'll pick up the Warblade of Cardero, and I'll get this thing as well, so that's a total of, you know, 10 gold plus this, which is 16 gold. Really cool, and that is the quest chain completed. Alright, so let's see. The quest says, search the ziggurat. So I don't know what I need to search for. But these are the ziggurats. So I guess I go in here and we'll be able to find something. Let's see, is there anything to do here? 
What does the quest say? Search the ziggurat and return with any information that you may discover. Doesn't appear like there's much information in here. Maybe it's... Oh my god, that's so green. Maybe it's not in this one. Maybe it's in a different one. Alright, I will keep on searching. Oh wait, I've been sheeped. I've been possessed. I've been sheeped. I've been mind spiked. I've been ignited. I've been... Everything. Holy shit, what just happened to my character? Everything just went as wrong as it could possibly go. I was just destroyed. That was interesting. Oh. Oh, look. Small cube on the floor. Here we go. There we go. I asked the part like, hey, do you guys know what I'm looking for? Scourge data. Great. We got it. Amazing. Thanks. And there we go. Stratholm Holy Water number five. That quest is a bit of a pain. So for some reason, we want to pull him inside ziggurats i guess because otherwise the door closes i guess maybe this way we can be quicker or something but i don't know exactly what we're doing all right so this guy can drop one of my loot pieces i'm pretty sure the final one that's outside of scholarman's because scholarman's just will not drop my gear so this one this is going to be the drop i can feel it here it comes the loot drop it's incoming it is in fact not here that is unfortunate Oh boy, that was a run. Our tank had to leave at about 80% of the run. So the last part of the Scarlet area, we had to go do as a foreman. So, you know, like lots of sheeping and fearing, those kind of things. But hey, that was kind of cool. Anyway, let's go hand in the quests. And here we go. Once again, we have returned. First, let's go to the ever small Bettina Biggles Inc. Good day to you. The active agent. Off and away. We are on the verge of discovering what this new active plague agent may be. Take months to dissect and analyze. The Argent Dawn thanks you for your efforts, adventurer. With our blessing, take your pick between either this Seal of the Dawn or this Rune of the Dawn. You can use either of them instead of a standard Argent Dawn commission to collect scourge stones on our behalf. Should you lose yours, speak with me and I'll get you a replacement. Oh, you can even get a replacement here. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, I will pick up the Rune of the Dawn because, of course, it's going to give me 48 spell damage against undead which is going to be really good for anything undead related so here we go complete quest Very well, then. and then also over is it in here it's in here yes hello let's talk to him again you know mr leonid what now be wary not all supply crates will have survived the destruction of the city the scourge dare not touch the water but surely the holy water will not prevent vermin infestations we do have five holy water and man that was a bit of a pain to get but here we got it well done, person. You have proven that while you are tolerant of others, you will stop at nothing to destroy the minions of Kel'Thuzad. So now I'll have to make a choice here. I mean, the crown of the penitent is something that I just don't really care about. The int is nice, but, you know, we lose so much spell damage, it's not worth it whatsoever. And then also the band, the penitent, this one might be okay. And it might be better than the Emperor's Seal of the Owl. And I will do a bit of a bit of a comparison, you know, once I'm off recording. But for now, I don't think it's that good. I'll, I'll just pick it up. The difference isn't too big anyway, so we just complete quest here. Oh, inventory is full. Wow, I haven't had that in a while. Wait, it's not full. Oh, I guess we were getting... Oh, wait, we have this thing. Head of Balnazar as well. This item begins a quest. Hold on. You try and gather your thoughts as the dust settles across the chamber. So, um, reminder, this is the final boss of the um the, the the living part of stratholm okay so let's go you go over the event that just transpired and still cannot comprehend the gravity of the situation the grand crusader of the scarlet crusade a demon and not just any demon but a brother to very mathras arch lord of the undercity whoa ho, ho, hold on hold on this is a lot of lore guys lots of stuff i don't know anything about but this is a lot of lore you carefully stow the severed head of the dreadlord into your pack Surely none would believe the tale you would tell without proof. Duke Nicholas Zverenhoff must be told at once. Take the head of Balnazar's, uh, Balnazar to Duke Nicholas Zverenhoff in the Eastern Platelands. Ooh, we shall do that. And now I guess we will have enough space probably to... Well done, person. Actually, no, we don't. Well, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. Because we still have the head, I think. Hold on. Let me, let me drop this rock. There we go. I don't need a rock. And let me also um, drop the... Other stone, yes. I mean, I could probably vendor them somewhere around here, but I can't be bothered. Continue. Well Complete. Done, person. 
Uh, Band of the Penitents, complete quest. There we go, beautiful. I haven't had a full inventory in a while, but I did back-to-back Scolomans -back runs. Uh, well, Scolomans and Stratholm runs. Up to 649 gold now, guys. I let my golds go in super, super hard, and I barely pay attention to it, but it's just flying in. And then here, let's go talk to Duke Nicholas Zverenhoff, because we have to tell him about something that just transpired in the church. King's honor, friend. The truth comes crashing down. Go with honor, friend. What have you got there, E.K.? Well, we have a head, sir. A head. What will this mean to the crusade? Could it be possible that they have been under the control of this demon, unwittingly serving as the pawns to a greater evil? Well, so the entirety of the Scarlet Crusade, everything to do with the monastery, everything to do with their religion or whatever their cause is, could all be linked back to a demon controlling them, because that's quite interesting. You display a natural aptitude for destruction, and you follow orders. It is rare to see the two coexist. I am beginning to think that you may make an excellent vehicle of divine justice. Kel'Thuzad's errand boy rules over Stratholm. Prove to me that you are a champion. My champion. Destroy Baron Rivendare and return to me with his head. Well, I guess we're going to go have to go back into Stratholm again and take down Baron Rivendare, who is the boss of the undead area, and take his head back. But I will wrap up the recording here now because I was expecting like a very small addition and I think I've recorded for about... Hold on, let me double check that. I have now been recording for... 2 hours and 15 minutes on the part after I already like kind of like wrapped up the video. So, I'm going to go edit that in. I'm going to go publish the video and uh, you know, hello guys. I'm I'll, I'll be I'll be live tonight. You'll well, not live, but like the video will be live tonight. So, hello, bye. Uh, see you next time.